Hey everyone, it's Dr. Uwechi. Jocelyn asked me to drum up some support for the COVID-19 vaccines, so today I'll be taking your most frequently asked questions. First question. I don't trust Dr. Uwechi. Can we talk to Dr. Lorenzo? <sighs> I, I don't know what to say. Um, I, I'm sorry, but Dr. Lorenzo just isn't here. She's not coming, so I'll be answering your- Wait, where are you going? They're, they're all leaving. No, 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 no. Hang on. Jocelyn, tell him to come back! Did you get the COVID-19 vaccine? Yes, yes, I did. I've received both shots. Uh, you can tell this is me because I'm wearing my lucky dinosaur masks, which go well with my matching dinosaur pillowcases. Next question. What's wrong with you? Are you six years old? Uh, actually, I'm five and a half. <laughs> Should I be worried about side effects from the vaccine? Well, it's okay to have some concerns. The vaccines do have side effects. And if I'm being honest, I felt pretty junk the day after my shots. And I'm sure the news coverage that you've been seeing hasn't helped to put you at ease. That said, remember that you're comparing the risk of the vaccine to your risks of getting the virus itself. So at the time of this video, over 24 million Americans have contracted COVID-19 and over 400,000 have died. It's the third biggest killer in the country right now. Meanwhile, more than 21 million doses of the vaccines have been administered, and how many people have died? Imagine if hundreds of thousands of people were being hospitalized and dying from the vaccine. This would be all over the news. I'm employed by the University of Hawaii, so I'd be writing research papers about this, but I'm not. So yeah, although I did experience some side effects from the vaccine, I'd much rather have vaccine side effects than COVID-19 itself. I pride myself on my cleanliness. What if I don't get the virus or the vaccine? Isn't that the safest outcome? Well, keep in mind that you're not an average person. You're a healthcare worker, so your risk of contracting COVID-19 is significantly higher than that of an ordinary person. Statistically, you actually have one of the most dangerous jobs in America right now. What about the long-term side effects? Well, we honestly don't know much about the long-term side effects of COVID-19 vaccines because they only came into existence recently. So yeah, although we don't anticipate anything, there could be some risk involved. But again, keep in mind that we also don't know much about the long-term side effects of COVID-19 itself. Obviously, death is a bad long-term outcome, and many patients who survive may have long-term side effects. What if I wait a while and see how other people do before I take my vaccine? Well, that's not without its risks either. Right now, all vaccine distribution is controlled by the government, which means that you can't just go to longs when you're ready to ask for a shot. If we encounter vaccine shortages, your vaccine will be given to someone else, and it may be a while before you can get it. Also keep in mind that every time a person gets infected, the virus has more opportunities to mutate, which could make everyone who has already been infected or vaccinated vulnerable again, and then the pandemic won't stop. So we have a genuine interest in shutting this down as quickly as possible. And how long are you thinking about waiting for long-term side effects? Five years? 10 years? 30 years? I may not have a job or be alive next year if we have another year that's just like 2020. If you die, will Dr. Lorenzo come back? <laughs> is it true that they cut corners to create these vaccines? The short answer is that it doesn't really matter to you as the recipient of the final product. So imagine that you're planning a birthday party for Matthew, but you don't know what my interests are. You could ask my friends and conduct a survey, but I mean, these guys take forever to answer emails. Imagine that you ordered a bunch of dinosaur-themed food and decorations without first verifying that I actually like dinosaurs. Potentially, you could end up wasting a lot of money and looking ridiculous. But hey, if I like dinosaurs, it's fine, right? And you just saved a lot of time. The vaccine companies saved a bunch of time by performing some of their development steps simultaneously, including manufacturing the vaccines at the same time that they were testing them so that they'd be ready to ship almost immediately. They normally don't do this because it's a big gamble. If the vaccines don't work, then they need to throw them away, and this wastes a ton of money. But hey, if the government is paying for them, then yes, yes I will have some dinosaur cupcakes. Can't I just wait until the emergency use authorization ends? EUA means that it's not fully vetted, right? This particular situation isn't like hydroxychloroquine, in which we were waiting for more data. I am told that getting full approval in this case simply involves doing a lot of paperwork, like a stack of papers as tall as the Empire State Building. This will probably take about a year, and again, I don't know if you want to wait that long. Should I get a vaccine if I'm pregnant, or thinking about getting pregnant? 
Unfortunately, there's not much information on this topic. Keep in mind that we also don't know what the side effects of the virus are on pregnant women, so unfortunately you're juggling two unknowns here. Pregnancy is not considered to be a contraindication to the vaccine. However, women are recommended to discuss this with their OBGYNs. Can you transfer your patients to Dr. Okamoto? Hold on. Can you screen out the questions that are like this? Well, how many are there? Wait, what do you mean all of them? How can I feel safe receiving a vaccine that's based on new technology? For what it's worth, mRNA vaccines aren't brand new. People have been working on these vaccines for years. The company Moderna literally has mRNA in its name. That said, development has been focused on less common viruses, like rabies. COVID-19 is so big that suddenly there's a huge influx of interest and money into this technology. There will be other vaccines that don't use mRNA. That said, you'll need to wait longer for these, and we don't know if they'll be as effective. It's difficult to grow viruses and make vaccines that trigger the immune system in the way that we want, so mRNA technology represents a big breakthrough in vaccine effectiveness, and there are already plans to develop other vaccines using mRNA. Do mRNA vaccines alter your DNA? Wait, are, are you worried that the vaccine will cause the zombie apocalypse? Well, yeah, I'd pay to see that movie. No, the vaccine doesn't alter your DNA. You would need a special virus and special enzymes to pull that off. Why should I feel comfortable putting this into my body? Well, the unknown is definitely scary. There's no question about that. That's why I'm still scared of the dark, and why Dr. Misaki needs to read me a bedtime story every night. Here's a list of ingredients for the Moderna vaccine. And yeah, I'll be honest, I don't know what most of this stuff is. But, I mean, at least it's listed, right? I mean, what's the ingredient list of a coronavirus? Would you rather risk putting COVID-19 in your body? Why do you think that I should get this vaccine? Well, I think it's because we're part of a community. Right now, we're all stuck on the same infected cruise ship. We're all in this together, and none of us are safe until all of us are safe. Let me ask you a question. Would you feel safer if you were surrounded by coworkers who were vaccinated? If your parents needed to seek medical care, would you sleep better at night knowing that their medical staff were vaccinated? Do you want this pandemic to be over as soon as possible? If you've answered yes, well, please know that your coworkers, your friends, and your family members probably feel the same way. I feel the same way too. And so I'm asking you to have the courage to join with us, be that change that you want to see in the world, and take a bold shot at defeating COVID-19. Whew, okay. Any more questions? Let's see. Uh, can you please sign your forms and your orders? Dr. Lorenzo always signed...